Uh, we do have these smaller chunks coming off, uh, but they are actually connected to the material itself. It's not floating out in space, it's actually connected. You can see just a little bit of a connection there. Um, but we can go ahead and fix that as well with other things. Uh, you can see the, the texture you can get from these um, hyper blobs. There's some really nice looking ones here. And the way we can fix those smaller ones is to go in here and play with the density. And we can just make it a little bit more dense and we can turn on the distance field. Make sure you turn on the distance field. Uh, that will give us a nice looking material or hyper blob. And we can raise that up. Uh, use raise the um, distance field there a little bit and get those features pronounced a little bit more and if you have a I find that if you have a high um, field depth you want to have like a lower density is what I find I could be totally wrong though I think it just really depends on the fractal itself and then after that um, you can get different results depending uh, you can see how it's completely different from what we had before, um, but that is because we have smoothing on at 60 degrees. You turn off the smoothing, and we can get a much different looking uh, material. It'll look in the same general shape, uh, but it'll be slightly different. Now, the smoothing just smooths out the edges, smooths the, in the overall shape. And I usually like have a really small smoothing amount or none at all um, because it just gives you more pronounced shapes, better features, and it overall it just I don't know I just like I just don't, I just like it with a smaller smoothing effect. So okay, you can see here that uh, uh, it we it's still a lot <laughs> it's still too smooth for me. We do have some nice textures going on here. We have a little bit of it going on right here. Um, but it's just not, it just doesn't work for me right here. And in these cases, you can do one of two things, maybe three, depending on what you find. Um, you can turn off distance field, or you can go back into the function editor and lower the largest feature. And that might give you a different look. You can also raise the roughness, or you can even raise the largest feature and that'll give you something else, something different. See how it kind of gets blown out right there? And uh, it looks like with the crystals here, we'll probably get a better effect if we keep it at a low, a lower level, lower value on the largest feature, and maybe not as much roughness, maybe a little bit more than that. We want these little, these little pieces right here are the ones that would be flying off of the material. We want to try to eliminate those as much as possible and then uh, let's go ahead and click OK and let's disable the distance field because it looks like we get a much better looking um, rock when we don't use it and then let's raise the density let's see what we get here alright yeah it looks like we're getting that crystal formation coming in let's see what happens when we raise it to about six that's when we start getting the shape from using the distance field so let's lower it and let's go back into the function editor and let's lower the largest feature there we go lower it just even a little bit more than that alright that's something completely wacky Okay, it's looking good. I'm liking the way that looks. All right, let's go ahead and click OK, and let's just test this out a little bit by raising the overall density just a little bit more, so we don't have as many of those little pieces flying out. And let's go ahead and render it one more time. All right, we actually have some really nice formations here. Little formation coming off right here right here and right here. Um, this is a little bit smooth uh, but I think that adds to the realism personally you might think otherwise and so um, that's just one way you can do it. You can actually add more to this and if we go ahead and uh, edit the material again and go back into the function editor let's go ahead and keep this let's add a blender uh, a blender node here and let's add another 
fractal and let's put them together and let's change this from let's keep it on variable roughness but let's change it from crystals to uh, line patterns patterns sorry and cracks and let's raise this up and get some nice crack formations going on here lower the roughness there we go now I'm starting to see some cracks coming in that's what she said alright and then um, let's go ahead and change that to add so we're adding the, the cracks on top of the crystals and let's see what happens when we move it a little bit closer towards the crystal and not so much the crack you can see the uh, the fractal coming in right there and let's go ahead and go back to here and go to edit and let's make these cracks a little bit larger Are they're too large uh, we don't want them too large actually so let's just go ahead and make them just slightly larger and then um, let's see here what else could we do uh, let's go ahead and raise this up a little bit more and let's also raise the smallest feature a little bit click OK and this is what we get let's change the density back down to maybe maybe two alright and let's also change the texture I think this texture is a little bit too dark for my taste so um, let's use this one you can use whichever one you want I don't really care um, you should be if you're following along with this it'll just be totally up to you, to you what you want to do alright and we get something way different here when we change that uh, when we change the density let's go back to three and see if we get something similar to what we had before we might have to actually change it lower than three yeah let's go ahead and change it lower than three about 1.5 And you know what? Let's go ahead and edit this and change this a little bit more towards the crystal. And then wait for it to update here. So now we do have cracks on here. We do have the crystal formation coming in. So let's go ahead and uh, render a preview of that and see what we have. All right. And so we do have the crystal formation coming in, but we also have these cracks that are in the rock. And um, they have some pretty good looking effects on here. So it uh, looks like that is looking good, but the overall shape of it is still a little bit too smooth for my taste. A little bit too rounded still. Uh, we can actually fix that by doing another thing here. And uh, what we can do is actually blend together a blender node. So let's go ahead and delete that one and let's just add a blender node you know what actually I didn't want to delete that one let's re-add it and then re-add that one I can't see too small okay too close alright add we want to delete this one and re-add it right there and we'll keep that the way it was, that's cool. Alright, and then what we want to do is add another fractal added to a blender node. And we want to delete that line right there, add this one to that one, and then add this to that. Alright, so you might be like freaking out right now because there's three fractals, two blender nodes, don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. It's really simple. Um, and I'm not just saying that to be nice to people who can't get the function editor. It's it's really simple. Uh, if you have any troubles, definitely just ask me. That's why I'm here. All right. So we have a variable roughness fractal here, and it's still using the cellular uh, the crystals pattern. So uh, what we want to do is we want to change this to add still like that, and we want to change this to uh, let's do. Let's do fast Perlin fractal. It's really fast, really simple, hence the name. And let's go ahead and put the gain up to 10 and drop the largest feature down to where we start getting some fractally goodness. And that should change the overall shape as you see over here. That's kind of crazy. Let's do a little bit less than that. 
We don't want it to change too much, but we just want the formation to change slightly. And let's add a little bit more noise. Alright. And we also want to not add as much detail in this. We just want to change the, the body. So let's add some, uh, let's add a small, some, add the smallest feature here a little bit. Not too much. We still want that detail to be in there, just not as pronounced. And I'm looking up here, deciding on whether I like it or not. And it looks like I like that one. Uh, let's go ahead and see what happens if I change this to a little bit more towards the pearl in. And the update right here will show me kind of what I'm getting. Looks like it's still getting a little bit too rounded right here. And you can see like the amount of detail that you can get in these. It really does mean a difference when you do a slight changes. So looks like that's the best I'm going to get it right there. Let's click OK. And let's go ahead and do another render. Alright, you can see the small details from the cracks right here. Um, the fast purlin changes the overall way it looks. These are actually the bigger cracks and it still has that crystal shape, but I think we took the smallest feature on the uh, purlin, the fast purlin fractal a little bit too high. I think, I think it needs to be a little bit lower to get a little bit more detail coming in. And we can also probably change the density to be a little bit lower than that. And we'll see what we get. All right, yeah, and that looks like it'll be a little bit better. And you know, I keep coming back saying we can fix a few things that we don't like, and we've already added three fractals, and you know, we've added two blender nodes here. Um, you know, why change more? Why not stick with just this and call it good? Well, you know, view is just full, sorts full of you know surprises are everywhere. So what we want to do is uh, look at the filter here. Yeah, the filter. All right. So um, they have different uh, different things here you can use. They have a lot of presets you can choose from, and uh, you know you can choose whichever filter. Double click on it, load it, see what it brings out. This one changes it. Let's see how it changes it. You can see the fractal right there is a little bit different. This one's actually bulbous and looks like it's cut in half. You can load the fract another one here. Let's do plateaus. See if that changes it a little bit differently. Yeah, it looks like someone's giving another person the finger. Um, yep, that one that one wouldn't make our clients very happy. Uh, what about Young Mountain? That one is a smooth gradient up to a peak. So that one might bring out some pretty good details for us, which it does. Let's go ahead and stick with that one. And I'm going to go ahead and go back to the Fast Pearl and Fractal and lower this a little bit more. All right. And now let's load up another preview. Well, oh my god. I've created something that looks almost like a creepyish alien looking heart. Oh, well, anyways, um, this is looking a little bit outrageous. I kind of like the way it looks, though, in its outrageousness. It looks like something you might see on a beach or underwater or something. So, you know, this is getting pretty outrageous. We have a lot of fractals going on right here. We got a lot of calculations. It's looking pretty cool, I think. Of course, I can change a few things, make myself a little bit more happy. Uh, but, of course, this is a tutorial on how to use hyperblobs and how to make them. So why not show you everything you can do? All right, so what we want to do now is uh, let's go ahead and uh, rotate this and see what we have on the other side. Uh, let's go ahead and look at it like this and see what we have. Uh, it looks pretty thin. Pretty outrageous. Let's continue looking. Turn it to the side here. That looks like Godzilla. Yep, that definitely looks like Godzilla. Alright, let's go ahead and change it back around to the front here. And still looking pretty outrageous. So yeah, that's basically how you use uh how you create hyperblobs. Um, now how would you create a hyperblob that looks more realistic than outrageous? Um, for that, I'm going to have to delete this. I know, it's pretty sad to see all those calculations go away, but goodbye. And uh, let's go ahead and load up another sphere here.